We have on the phone Kanye West. Kanye, how are you, man? I'm doing awesome. How are you? Good, thanks. Are you in your design headquarters right now? Yes, I am. All right, I want to get to that in a second. But first, let's clear up some of the stuff that went down on Grammy night. Yeah. All right, let's start with, I guess the simple question is, why did you decide to get out of your seat and come up when Beck won for Album of the Year? You know, I felt like just the whole Grammys, right when that happened, everybody was looking at me, and then people started screaming, Kanye, Kanye, Ka- go go do it. And, okay, that didn't really happen. These were voices in my head. <laughs> like, Wait a minute, I missed that. <laughs> These are the voices in his head, he said. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the voices in my head told me, go, go up. And then, like, you know, I just walked up, like, halfway up the stairs. Uh, you know, the stage and, you know, and what I really, you know, wanted to do is just joke around with what had happened before, but I just really didn't want to take away from mm-hmm. Beck's moment or the time he's having to talk because, you know, the Grammys, they play, you know, music really quick, no matter who you are and everything. So I didn't want anything to take away from his scream time. Mm-hmm. So I just walked back down because, you know, it was kind of a joke, like the Grammys themselves. But, like, some have said, and I'll come back to your Grammy point in a second, but some have said that that did disrespect Beck. What would you say to Beck if you could say anything to him? Well, first of all, Beck is one of the nicest guys and one of the most respected musicians in the game. So there's nothing that I would want to do as a fellow musician to disrespect him in any way. And the weird thing is, like, you know, I don't feel like I have the right to do you know, to to take away from people's moments. But the reality of it is, Mm -hmm. and case in point by who came up to me right afterwards is, it's almost like a chiropractor. You know, just you just get a little crook out, like, wow, this crook has been there. It's like, ah, just a little (laughs) dose of truth, right? And then, you know, everyone feels better after the fact, or everyone's way more famous after the fact, or everyone sells way more albums after the fact. And then Kanye just goes on being it to everyone but you know like (laughs) taylor swift came up to me right afterwards literally right afterwards and tells me that i should have went on stage Uh (laughs) so this is the irony of my life the irony in that Uh, moment because i we mean when that happened with taylor at the vmas we weren't sure exactly what was going on then there but you also said that she said to you she wants to work with you right yeah, she wants to get in the studio, and we're definitely going to go in. And, you know, I, any artist with, you know, um, an amazing point of view, perspective, fan base, I'm down to get in the studio and work. I don't, I don't discriminate. I don't have an, an elitism of music because of, like, how many Grammys or, you know, the amount of, uh, you know, ratings you get on an album. I think that everyone loves music, whether they love hip-hop you know, alternative country, and if I could be involved in giving people any type of energy, advice in the studio, whether you're Beyonce, whether you're Taylor Swift, whether you're Jay-Z, whether you're Beck, whoever, and they can be reciprocal with that, I'd like to be involved with that. So do you think that there's an issue with perception versus intention, Kanye? Oh, yes, definitely, but the road to hell has been paved with good intentions. You know, I'm at a point where... You know, it's it's ways to do things in a smoother way. And I, I feel that the at the Grammys, you know, I don't know exactly what the press has been because I don't keep up with that. But at the Grammys, when I did go up on stage and left off, there was a really good vibe about it. And everybody was laughing and smiling. And I think everybody it, thought it was a joke at that point. And then, and, and then it seemed to take a turn more serious on the e-broadcast afterwards. Well, you know what happened is because I sat there and I kind of let that – you know, smolter, and I was asked my opinion, and I was given mm-hmm. a platform. Mm-hmm. And when given a platform, it's very hard for, as we know, and I'm going to talk in third person like I'm a crazy person, but it's very <laughs> hard for Kanye West to not be very true and vocal to what he feels. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like people take the Grammys for granted in a way because of the commercials, because a lot of the musicians are very rich and everything. But this is our Super Bowl. You know, mm-hmm. and someone's got to be mad that Marshawn didn't get the ball. Someone's got to, like. <laughs> I think he's, that, that Marshawn being Beyonce, I think is what he's referring to. Um, all right, hold for one and second. I, way, wanna... I don't want to say that because I don't want to. I wanted to also stress to people that it's not a black 
or white thing at all. It's not me always standing up for a black artist. I feel that racism is a distraction to humanity. We mm-hmm. are one race. Right. We are the human race, period. And I feel that we have to base our new society, the future, post-internet society, off of blocks and bricks of truth. And if the Grammys are capitalizing off the amount of views that Beyonce uh, gets for them, and still not laying that brick of truth and being respectful towards, because Beck says, hey, I even afterwards literally said, I think Beyonce should have won it. And when I said that thing about respect artistry, you know, I think it came off the wrong way, and, and that was a miss. Uh, a miswording on my part because obviously Beck is one of the most right. respected artistry, artists and respects artistry. But I felt, and this is my opinion, and he doesn't, it's, he's his own man and he's not wrong and will still go play basketball and stuff if he doesn't want to do it. But I felt that even though the Grammy sometimes give awards to people who you wouldn't think should win in the category as a respect to artist we mention the other artist's name in our speech we uh-huh. always right have everybody to does yeah. right right yeah. like i'm so honored to be in this category with these people these amazing yeah. people and that was the, the that was the point i was making about it like there's many a times i gave other people my award literally made them come up on stage there's many a times a maroon five where they won best new artist adam mentioned me Mm-hmm. You know, because it was the college dropout and 10 nominations on all that. So even though the Grammys way of a uh, voting system might be. Um, um, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold that thought. Because I want to I got to take a quick break. I want to come. I want to ask you about that, because I, I, I think that, you know, we'll go back to your earlier point about them being a joke in your in your words. Hang on for one second. Okay. Kanye West is with us. And it's like the Grammys for us artists that work really hard, go to the studio every day. It feels like they constantly feel like they can get a divorce with us every year and break our dreams every year. Yeah, they get Daft Punk Award. Yeah, they get Arcade Fire Award. But they're like a broke clock. They're right only like twice a day. It has to be some level of respect for the people that they have there. 